Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my new playlist, a brand new playlist where I'm going to talk about React with Redux. Okay, so I already covering the master React playlist and in that master React playlist we covered about functional component, we covered like React lifecycle methods, React fundamentals, basic things we have covered, we have covered React for make. I mean there are already 125 videos are already there. After that now I am covering React with Redux. So we already covered how to manage the state of a component using just initializing the state inside a constructor or using the use state hook or using the use reducer, use context together or using the context APIs in class based component or writing just simple use reducer use context combination. Now what if I wanted to use an external library to manage the state like Redux, Mbox, Flux. These are actually some external libraries which can help you to manage the state of your React application where you can actually create an external store. Every component can directly talk and get the data what they need. Okay, so somewhat the context APIs and these reducers hooks, hooks which we have already have, right? They try to solve the problem. But every time it's not like everything we can just get it done with the help of context APIs or just these combination of use reducer or context APIs or use state. Sometimes when your application is big, you have a lot of component, then there is always a use case that can be used some kind of a centralized uh, store, a big store object for the whole application. Okay, so in the latest version of React, we have a context APIs and these hooks. It doesn't mean that you can replace Redux. It, it is based on the use case. If you are writing a small application and you don't want it to use the complexity, just go with simple hooks. Okay. So what problem that Redux is trying to solve? It's the same problem which we face with simple React components. When we have a React components, then they are interdependent on one another for the state and for calling a function, right? They emit an event to the parent and parent will emit an event to the grandparent component. It's called a props drilling problem. So what we were trying to solve this with the help of context APIs. But what if we have a hundreds of component and we wanted to use a centralized state. In that case, we can have Redux with our React application and we can put these things inside a store. Okay. So we will talk about this in good length of videos. We will talk about the basic introduction, how to introduce Redux. What is Redux? We first we will talk about independently how Redux works. Then we will integrate React with Redux. Then we will see how React components are talking with Redux layer. Redux is nothing but a big store object which is taking care of your state in the immutable behavior. When I say immutable means it's not like uh, this component is just changing the state, the original state. It is always returning a new state and new state is propagating here in all the child components. Redux is not complex at all. Maybe from syntax it will look complex for the first time. But the concept of Redux is isolating the state of your React components in, isol in a central place. So every component can go and directly talk to the Redux store and get what they need instead of depending on the parent component. Okay. So we are going to talk about Redux. This is just an introduction video. We will also cover some simple application, hello world application, counter application, YouTube application or weather application with the help of Redux. We will see how we can introduce Redux with our simple application. How we can use Redux dev tool for debugging the Redux state. How can we track the Redux state? I mean, there is a real time debugging. We can do initial state of the whole React application was this. You triggered some action. Now state is this. So we will see, look at the debugging, how to integrate React with Redux, how Redux works, what is the Redux architecture, what are the building blocks of Redux. Everything is covered in this playlist. So let's get started. I hope you, you will watch my next video to get more on Redux. Thanks everyone.